Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get pretty in tune. Hey, welcome. You now the vibes. Welcome to my girl Pretty in Tune channel where she keeps you up to date with the hottest tea. Download keep you all tap in and shit. We stay lit on this channel so fuck with each and, and stay updated. She will have you laughing and emotional all at the same damn time. So let's get pretty into and this motherfucker you know the vibes. My bish, gone take, it from here, queen in this fish. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get pretty in tune. Okay, so it's a Chicago but uh, Chicago budget allocate 500k for panel studies rest reparation for Black American and Chicago mayor also slammed Texas governor for being evil spirit approach to migrant crisis. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know, but. They have been talking about doing case studies for this is happening to be in LA, New York, uh, about giving black people uh, respiration. Okay? Paying uh, black people. So this has been a talk. So we got Mayor Brian, uh, Mayor Brandon here. I'm so tongue twisted right now. Mayor Brandon here. And he's been really politic up on, you know, um, Texas, Texas governor. But I pretty much understand uh, where Texas governor is coming from. I'm gonna actually post a video which he's he breaking down um, so nicely where you can understand it. Um, let's go ahead and check out this video really, really fast and see what's going on. Mayor Johnson, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, let me go right to it. The Chicago Tribune reports more than 630 buses have arrived in Chicago and the Chicago area in the past 16 months from Texas alone, carrying nearly 30,000 people in need of food, shelter, and a new life. What response did you get from lawmakers as you discussed this deepening crisis? Well, thank you, um, Reverend Al, for having me on, and Happy New Year to you. Look, we have this international crisis that really requires federal intervention that local government is being asked to subsidize. Uh, lo local government is not designed or built to handle such a crisis. And since I've been in office, we've had well over 500 buses show up in the city of Chicago. In fact, closer to 600 now. Over 855 um, flights that have come to Chicago. And now the governor of Texas is now... Um, chartering private planes landing in the city of Chicago and the surrounding area with uh, migrants uh, coming up from the Central and South America in particular. Um, the governor of Texas is committed to causing chaos. And what I've done over the course of my first eight months in office is work to bring some structure and some coordination around this mission. Um, like you said, 30,000 uh, migrants have come through the city of Chicago. Right now we have 15,000 migrants that I am sheltering in 27 uh, different shelters. Uh, roughly 4,500 children are in our Chicago public schools. We are providing health screenings. Um, we are providing vaccination uh, for, for migrants. And of course, we are working towards work authorization to place these families onto sustainability. Um, but again, this mission is not sustainable without the support of the federal government. And so my conversation with the Illinois delegation is one, to make sure that we actually have an appropriations funding to actually deal with this crisis. Two, uh, work to expedite work authorization. And quite frankly, Reverend Al, what we need is a uh, nationwide coordination uh, to be able to address this crisis. No, it, it puts a tremendous burden on, on you and other Democratic mayors, I might add, many black mayors is, is, uh, has been the focal of this. In fact, on Thursday, New York City Mayor Eric Adams uh, fi uh, uh, filed a $700 million lawsuit against 17 charter bus companies who transported migrants from Texas. What are your thoughts about the case, and is this an action you would consider taking as well? 
Well, you know, look, you're very, you're absolutely right about the intentions of Governor Abbott. Um, he is attacking uh, democratically ran cities, and particularly cities that are being led um, by black leaders or leaders of color. This is unconscionable. I mean, it's a very raggedy approach, and quite frankly, not only is it reckless and raggedy, um, but it is evil-spirited. And so what we've done in the city of Chicago, I've passed an ordinance that, that calls for three things. One, that the state of Texas coordinate with the city of Chicago while buses are being sent to the city of Chicago. And so what we've asked is that the, city, the, the various cities um, apply for a permit drop the buses off at a one particular landing zone between the hours of 8 and 5.30, Monday through Friday, and then provide us what a complete manifest so that we can better prepare uh, for these migrants. And as you've indicated, many of them are coming to the city of Chicago and throughout the entire country um, in very desperate, dire straits. Um, they're, 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 they just need so much support. There's no health screenings at the border, no vaccinations. Um, there's not a very clear approach. Um, to, to, to how we actually put um, these families onto a pathway of sustainability. And so the ordinance that I passed, other cities around the city of Chicago have passed that ordinance. Again, just to bring some uh, structure and some coordination. I know Mayor Adams signed an executive order uh, to do just the same, the same thing in the, in the city of New York. And as far as this particular lawsuit, look, I think we, we have to do everything possible to bring some coordination and some structure around this mission. Yeah. And absent the act of Congress to invest invest in this mission, um, again, our local economies um, will not be able to sustain this mission. Because the lack of coordination, as you raise in your ordinance, I, I've seen where uh, when uh, Mayor Adams in New York uh, made particular specifications in terms of time drop offs and all with these buses, they just dropped them off in New Jersey. And I, I saw clips where you talked about they dropped some migrants off 100 miles away and told them they were dropping them off in Chicago. So there needs to be some real coordination here. Uh, let me go to this. Your new budget includes a significant amount uh, allocated towards improving social services for low and working class people in Chicago, and notably $500,000 for a new panel that will study whether and how the city should pay reparations to Chicagoans who are descendants of enslaved African Americans. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear what L. Sharpen just said? He said they is coming up with a 500 case case study to see how to come up with how could they pay reparation to black people. Hey, that shit fit to hear a little different. Americans, can you talk a little about uh, how the reparation study will work? Look, absolutely. You know, look, you know, you spent some time in Chicago and you know the history of the civil rights movement and the city of Chicago, you know, as we prepare to celebrate the life and the legacy of Reverend Martin Luther King. A junior, he came to the city of Chicago fighting for housing, you know, fighting for public accommodations, and his words still ring true today. If we can figure it out in Chicago, if we can figure it out in Chicago, we can do it anywhere in the world. And that's the impetus behind this study. Look, black folks have been stuck at the margins for generations. I've been a part of uh, social movements uh, working alongside of you and, of course, uh, Reverend Jackson. Schools have been closed in the city of Chicago throughout the country. Uh, health clinics have been shut down throughout the city of Chicago. Um, in my budget, I do a couple of things. I reopen mental health clinics and we set up a brand new office uh, for reentry. Individuals who are returning from jails and incarceration, uh, we are standing up, standing up an entire office to make sure that we're investing um, in these families. You know, this is very much part of the legacy of the new Jim Crow. And so this study for restoration and reparations is really to right the wrongs of a very, very um, uh, evil, bad past. And as Dr. Keene said, uh, we're going to figure it out in Chicago and be a model for the rest of the country. Yeah, and 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 I remember in, uh, when I was younger, it was not even talked about. Now you have Chicago, you have California, the governor of New York just signed for a study. Reparations is no longer a marginal issue.
Okay, guys, put up in the comments on well, what do you think? So do you agree with the mayor of um the governor of Texas? Okay, because they he have been Texas have been dealing with this crisis for years and years. Cities like New York, Chicago, Denver. Okay, we all are centric cities. This is what our mayor wanted. Okay, so do you agree with him now spreading these people out? You know, because imagine all these people up in Texas if they didn't. This is just to me bringing awareness up on the bringing a, awareness of the bigger picture that is going on. And now, since it's at everybody front door, now something must ha happen, okay? Now something must happen and something got to give, okay? <clears throat> something got to give. Um, and what do you guys think um, about this respiration for Black people? Um, this is a powerful movement. The a case studies on how should they should, you know, they pay us. Uh, I feel like this is a, a big move up in the right direction. I hope everything follows through. Um, so far, Chicago, New York, LA is doing it. Um, so yeah, so this is a movement. This is this is heading the right way. Um, put a bit up in the comments upon how you feel about this situation. You know, your your take up on it. I would love to see your point of view of things. Um, and until next time, good people, you guys on the vibe, stay pretty in tune. Um, check out this video. If you're looking to um, bring leads to your website, check out this video really, really, really fast. And yeah, check this out really quick. And if you can utilize this too, the links will be up in the description. Until next time, good people, stay peace and love, family. Take care. Hey, quick question for you. Do you want to take your website conversions and sales to whole new levels without paying for ads, search engine optimization, or expensive software platforms? If you have tried all the popular methods like pop-ups, overlays, and countdown timers with no results, get ready for 3D Chat Agents, an intelligent smart chat automation technology backed by artificial intelligence. You can now leverage the latest advancements in technology and get access to groundbreaking features like intelligent chat funnels talking 3D avatars, just like me, text-to-speech, one-click translation, and a whole lot more to drive conversions and results like never before. 3D Chat Agents automatically interacts with your website visitors on complete autopilot to increase sales and conversions. Use this groundbreaking technology to provide customer support, build trust with your buyers, increase average order value, and improve overall customer experience on your site without the need for any virtual agents or staff. Create unlimited smart chat campaigns for your websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. Automatically book appointments, take orders, collect customer email and phone numbers, offer discounts and coupons to boost your results. Nothing like this is available in the market at any price. Get your very own 3D chat agent set up in minutes. Contact us now and ask about our introductory special pricing. We also provide full services installations on your website. Don't miss out on this special deal. Contact us now for a free quote. Thanks for checking this out. Links will be up in the description. Until next time, good people, stay free and so on.